I wish you could have been there because you got to go to his concert. I know. What did I have? I had a rehearsal. Oh, this is huge. Hey, everybody, and welcome to Ready to Rumble. <laughs> to Ready to Ramble. I'm Sarah the Rebel. I'm Ify Wadiwe. I'm Cameron Rice. And we have some special guests with us today. Hello, Introduce Rachel. yourself, please. Hello, I'm Rachel Harmon. Awesome. Yes. And I am Eric Solomon. You're all awesome. Thank you. Welcome to our show where we talk about wrestling and convince you why you should also be talking about wrestling. Big week. Big week this week. Yeah, yeah. You think? No, it was, it was like, okay. Um, oh, something's happening. I wonder, I wonder what's... Something's oh, 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 that was very important. Very important. <laughs> I gotta wear this. The tiny, tiny. I had to, to wear this. Uh, it's, it's like because your boy had all the picks for WrestleMania. Your boy, it got close I don't there. Think you had all the picks. It, it no. got close there. Mm-hmm. You know, it was tied up. You but, did. You know, when I told when I told my girl mm-hmm. Sarah here mm-hmm. that John Cena was was he's a weird dude. He's kind of corny, but I love it, and he's gonna propose. You didn't believe. I didn't. didn't believe I hoped. Love. I hoped that he was gonna prove the Miz wrong. But, but instead, he proved them is right. So I think, really, I won, like, overall in life. But yes, oh, yeah, yes, yeah, if yeah. he did win our choices for WrestleMania. So for sure. Real quick, talking about that, too. That's so interesting, because that is so much, like, the storyline of Total Divas, and they wrapped it up <laughs> on something that wasn't Total Divas. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. They're definitely well, going to show it. it. Oh, they're yeah. going to show yeah. it, yeah. for yeah. sure. It's going to be a special. Yes. <laughs> oh, I just, I don't know. It just rubbed me the wrong way. It's like, disgusting. Yeah. I, I found it. <laughs> I found it disgusting. It's don't do that. Don't yeah. propose in the. It's but like here, proposing at a sports arena. It's not good. And no, not just like that, a, but that homie proposed to someone and didn't tell her for a year that they were engaged. The we're talking about <laughs> wrestling. <laughs> proposal. Right, oh like he. If you That's really funny. if you propose to somebody and they don't know it. <laughs> and you're just engaged to them secretly? That's a heel move. That's it. Oh, well. Yeah, that was very Triple H. Move. Yeah, that was Triple creepy H-70. and strange. Yeah, and, but all right, do you. Congratulations on your engagement, Josh Cena. Yeah, I've seen, I <laughs> seen it. Someone with as much love for the company that that man has, he's going to do it. Because it's just like people who like at UCB propose at the theater and all that just oh. when you have love for the place don't propose to me in no improv at. show i'll tell you that right yeah. now I, you know hey don't 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 hate the hustle man you know when you see an up when you when you see us up there being <laughs> being funny being, fu- being funny it's like yo <laughs> it didn't I'm, it didn't talk macho man though yeah, talk, yeah. Ma- you know that Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah you'll see this around i meant to design it a little better i wanted to put like ready to ramble on it uh, See that. But whoever gets the the most picks, every pay per view will be the owner of this uh, cheesy belt. That child, I have over child a size. I have a regret. Cena I have a regret because I went to Target yesterday I and they had the belts, but they had the old school uh, Eagle Championship oh, belts. Yeah, I have one of those. One. And I was like, oh, "That was the best one." And I was like, "Oh, should I buy this?" And I didn't. And I oh, think I'm going to go back tomorrow and buy. Yeah, it. yeah maybe yeah. that'll be the one. Why don't we all just bring our own belts? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just get to wear <laughs> a belt on the show. Well, let's talk about who our guests are. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes. What are their, what's their credentials? I don't believe oh. they have any. That's a lot of <laughs> setup pressure to say. I, know, I didn't know I them. Good. Rachel, Good. tell us your entire life story. What got you into wrestling? How do you feel about wrestling? Tell us some of your faves. Let's just talk about it. Oh, man. Okay. Um, I grew up watching wrestling. I've been watching wrestling since I was born. My dad's a <laughs> lifelong fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, uh, my dad's a lifelong fan. Uh, yeah. So I've, I've always loved wrestling. And I do... Wrestling related stuff. I do the Lucha Underground after show for After Buzz, which is not the WWE, but that's okay. Yeah, we talk about all wrestling. Yeah, yeah, here. This yeah. Is yeah. and we've had a it's lot of people hitting us up the last two or three weeks on Twitter, being like, "I started watching Lucha Underground because you guys show, the and best. I'm loving it." Yeah. Netflix yeah. is huge right now because of doing. Yes, that. Yeah. Yeah. Netflix is huge right look, now. Look, <laughs> well, because of getting Lucha. For yeah, no, no, it's it's massive. huge. I agree. Look, no one's gonna be able to hear it. Sorry to cut you off, but uh, <laughs> years ago. 
uh, not years, but like I'd say like a, a year, decade, a year ago, I was saying the biggest move is going to be picking up Lucha Underground or a competitor to the mm-hmm. WWE at a Netflix Hulu type uh, mm-hmm. network because WWE just didn't have any competition. Like New Japan has their like service, but it's like the website is literally in Japanese. Like, like, I, yeah, like yeah. I was like, yeah, it, yeah, you have English commentators, but your website is in Japanese. Yeah. And like, I know a good handful yeah. of people, particularly wrestling fans, who would be like, I ain't reading this. <laughs> That's <just> me. <laughs> Kenny Omega is like my biggest love, and I'm so like, I can't do it. Yeah, yeah. It's, Sorry, Kenny. I yeah. love him. And Eric, what about you? So me, I kind of grew up totally WWE, WWF fan at the time, late 80s, early 90s. Um, kind of, I even cried when the Ultimate Warrior lost against uh, Sergeant Slaughter. Oh. But, uh, yeah, yeah, it was, it, was, it was that sort of impact. But then from there, transitioned over to the Attitude Era, became a fan, fell off afterwards. And now I, you know, I write for various online websites, one of which is MySpace. Yes, they are still around. And I do, <laughs> I do a weekly wrestling uh, feature for them when I, they just allow me to write about whatever I want, and just ranting and raving That's and great. kind of interviewing uh, you know, wrestlers. So. I, I want to really highlight what you just said. I know. So let's say it one more time. You write for where? From this old, old, old site called MySpace. So, kids, that, in case you don't know, because you know our show is always about teaching. Yeah, yeah. MySpace is what we used to use to show who our true friends were. Top if you eight. weren't in a top oh, eight yeah, on eight. somebody's oh, yeah. MySpace, <laughs> oh, yeah. you were unloved and yeah. might as well just go home. Don't in even school, interact with people. There was never people. more heartbreak than when you were taking off someone's top eight. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Such drama. What happened? What did I do to you? Well, yeah. I remember it was a big like a big thing because I was uh, friends with Tila Tequila. I thought it was hey, <laughs> now. She was friends with Tila, everybody. Tila, Tila yeah, Tequila. Yeah, I know. Tila Apparently Tequila so. now, though. She went heel. She turned heel. Yeah, she real heel turn. She took. That's a way to describe that. But but yeah, like yeah, MySpace was such. MySpace was literally. Facebook before Facebook because that's mm-hmm. where like because I remember they had the age limit and then you had to lie to get a MySpace right. and then it was kind of how Facebook is now where like your parents started joining because I remember I know the moment I left MySpace is like because I it was like a dare or something where like uh, not even a dare but like this oh a dare I was like a deer what does yeah, a yeah. deer <laughs> have to do with this story okay no, I'm with you I'm uh, back one of the one of my like female friends was oh, oh, basically was trouble. like there was like a picture she had on her page where it was a like guy on a beach in his ass and uh, and I was like oh you should put my ass there she's like if you posted a picture of your ass I'd put it on my profile so I, I made a bulletin mm-hmm. with my ass okay. and like no, no lie 30 minutes later I get a call from my mom <laughs> <laughs> and she's like and boy who what <laughs> boy what literally why ass, ass? Was done right there why 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 is there a picture of your ass on the internet? Mm. Literally ass out on MySpace. You yeah, got yeah. caught ass out. Yeah, on MySpace. On MySpace. So well, like, Black Planet was better anyway. So you were like the first fappening. Sort of <laughs> yeah. Except I did it to myself. <laughs> you did it to yourself. <laughs> yeah. so. You know, you know what, MySpace, so. that is kind of like the Viking funeral of yeah. MySpace. What's oh, funny sure. now is all of us have a picture of Iffy's ass, so it's not even like a hard thing yeah. Well, the funny thing is many, pe- like, many people still have their accounts that are active. Oh, I'm like, sure. All, like, yeah. all my friends are like, hey, how can I turn mine up? I'm like, I don't even know. Like, I don't know. I never is. deactivate them. Oh. No, I never did either. Yeah. I got that sex care bear on there that's like, I like bondage. And I was like 14. What? So I hope mine's <laughs> deactivated. <laughs> what? Wow. I wasn't doing bondage at 14. I just. You were fascinated. I liked by the it. idea. Yeah. yeah. Tickled by it. What have made you me done it? Eyes wide shut. And you're given like, what the is opportunity. You do that. You watched David Cronenberg's crash. I didn't watch any of these things you're describing. I watched. What's the movie with Tom Cruise and the devil? Legend. Legend. I watched Legend. It was Ooh. like, uh, Le- but that's a sexy movie. It is, and that, that's what did it. He's yeah. hot. That yeah. devil's Blitz. hot in that movie. Well, yeah, Tim Curry. Come Tim on. Curry is hot in him. except for it. I, yeah, then okay. he's super hot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> then he's uh, transcendently hot. All right, let's talk about wrestling, guys. Oh, right, right. <laughs> so, do we start with Mania, or do we want to talk a little bit about NXT? Um, let's start with. Well, you know what? If you if you have things to say about NXT, let's Ma- ha- let's uh, say uh, things. That tag about match NXT. was killer. For me. Oh, my God. I thought that was the match of the night, NXT, the tag match. Oh. Uh, I think that was a match of the weekend. Just oh, like that. You guys remember to tell people what these matches oh, yeah. are in case they didn't watch them. <laughs> hey, hey, you go. You it go. is a triple threat match between Authors of Pain, who are the current NXT champions, uh, DIY, which is Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciappa, and it's, it's the Revival, which is uh, Dash and Dawson, who are now late, you know, uh, they, they're now up on Raw. Yep. But I guess we'll talk about that. Yeah. Yes, and they go will. so hard. 
They do. All day, all night. One of the best theme songs currently on the roster. Oh, oh yeah. Definitely. Uh, so, yeah, definitely go NXT. Uh, check that out. Um, tag match. Uh, yeah, that was, for me, the big The, the only big thing that Ify and I saw, because we were <clears throat> actually doing a live Ready to Ramble, was... Uh, Asuka and Ember Moon, we only mm. got to see the end where she, uh, Asuka like, leans forward on the ropes and her breasts look the most amazing they've ever looked. And I mentioned that as yeah. well. Yeah. yeah. We both were just wow. like, oh, Jewel, wow. girl, how you she doing? She had a lot of tightness. She was, yeah, she was like, it's time. <laughs> <laughs> I these puppies up. I was ready for it. Yeah. <laughs> Real tight. If he was like, please fall out. And Ember yeah. Moon like, can do no wrong. Oh, yeah. In my yeah, she's my She didn't do one stunner, though. What was that? Um, I'm curious if they're still holding her back because obviously they were holding her back for yeah. WrestleMania. So I wonder if there's some sort of hold back so that she can really get time to build and become the person mm. we're cheering for. Her. I don't know. It was strange to me because she is amazing and they should let her be amazing. Yeah, she's yeah. super talented, but she still hasn't had that like breakout match or you know marquee match right. in NXT yet. But everyone knows that she's you know going to be that top. Well, we're going to see what happens, too, because uh, with the women's tournament that was announced, yeah. if, right. which of those women are going to go to NXT, and then Ember Moon and Asuka being the veterans of the roster, mm -hmm. of the women's roster for NXT. I think Ember Moon can really take Asuka's place for Asuka to be able to move up, because I, I think that's one of the problems now, is she can't mm -hmm. move because they need her. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think they're yeah. they're doing yeah. the Bailey thing. Right. They're going to so, keep Asuka yeah. probably till next, maybe next Mania, or wow. they'll do what they did with Bailey, which is like after... Because Bailey wasn't after Mania, it was no, like I think it was no. after it, SummerSlam. Of, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. so they might hold off Oscar for six more months. That was my hold uh, holdout. I, I gave up a pick, hoping that that uh, Oscar would just pop out at some point. And I really would like to say <laughs> again for anyone who wasn't paying attention, I literally lost just from the extra point he got because of the proposal. <laughs> we had all all of our <laughs> yeah. Follow picks us on Twitter because when we we do this for pay per views and then we'll match up. Yeah. Who and, who did what? Right, and we'll use the hashtag Ready to Ramble as usual, so you can find us very easily. All right, anything else about NXT before we move on? I mean, Nakamura and Rude was great. Yes. But it wasn't exceptional. I mean, I'd, you know. It wasn't exceptional, but it was, yeah. The entrances were amazing. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was the best part of the match, or the entrances, yeah. the dueling pianos. It, it, and I feel like that, that is, like, the fun part of Rude is just that. And, I've, and I, I love that, you know, this is, I guess, yeah, we're this far in it. Sorry, I, like, jumbled my words trying to think of time and all that stuff. But, you know, Nakamura got moved up. Um, totally spoiled for me twice. Oh, um, oh you yeah. found out before you watched it. Yeah, yeah. I was I like, what do you mean spoiler? We're a show about that. Okay, got yeah. it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, Nakamura being moved up, it was great. But, like like we said, if you watch our last Raid Rambo, I felt like Asuka needed to be moved up more than Nakamura. But... Mm. They have lots of talent on the men's side on NXT where they can afford to lose Nakamura versus right. if they lose Asuka, it's a, it's, it's a hit. It's a blow, definitely. Critical hit. The Aleister Black uh, debut was also pretty cool. Oh, that was great. Oh. Vampire entrance. Yeah. I felt yeah. so many things. Yeah, my friend was messaging me. She's like, magical um, man alert, magical man alert. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I immediately was like, social media, I'm going to follow him on everything. <laughs> All right, well, is Listen this a good time to, because this segues into one of my big exciting things about Wrestlemania. So are we ready to jump Let's into that? Yeah. Speaking oh, of... Oh, oh, <laughs> Wrestlemania! <laughs> is that the oh, song? Man. I don't think From it's... From the 90s? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. that was not the song this Sunday. Pump it up! Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was like, that's not Pitbull. I think that's that was like not... Wrestlemania 10 when like, um, they busted <laughs> yeah. that out. Yeah. Um, that freaked me out. I saw yeah. that. <laughs> oh, yeah, you thought the gorilla was yeah. coming back? Nope, I didn't see any people. taking a nap. Um, <laughs> so... That was one of my favorite things. Like a lot of people didn't like the Bray Wyatt Randy Orton match. I loved it. Well, like, before we get into the match by match, let's talk about length because a lot of people there's a debate. He literally about, asked if he could do this. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. He asked permission. My bad. My it's bad. Fine. No, it's you okay. know what? No, you go, baby. You go, baby. Oh no, we all got our we got our process. Go ahead. <laughs> so let's talk about that length. Too long? Was it too long for some people? Very some long. people felt like, no, this was fun. No, no, yeah, no, was, no. That was way too long. It didn't feel long for me. Seven hours of film pre-show. I just watched a pre-show. It was long. Okay. Yeah. I came in. I didn't get uh, the Austin Aries Neville match. I came in like. That was uh, really good. Yeah, yeah. I, I missed that. I came in like right at the end of uh, uh, what's his face uh, winning the Andre the Giant. Mojo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I came in right and I thought so I smoked too much weed because I saw <laughs> Gronkowski. <laughs> And I was like, who is this dude? Whose man's is this? And why is he getting in the 
damn ring. So <laughs> strange. And and then like because they and I was like, oh, they're probably doing another Ronda Rousey type thing where they just they're hey, here's a sports person, uh, and he loves wrestling and he's gonna do a thing, and then mm-hmm. they're chest bumping and and, gr- and the rogue security guard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that was great. Yeah. <laughs> They were just yelling at each other. I don't know. Is that what guys do? You just grab each other's faces and yell at each other? That's friends. what Ify does all when you the have, time. Uh, when, you, when you have uh, a <laughs> CTE, yes. Um. Yeah. I mean, he only won because that's his friend. Yeah. I don't even know who that person is. Gronk. Yeah. Gronk. Uh, for the New England Patriots. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. He's, yeah. He, uh, I, let's dip into Gronk a bit because Gronk was... Uh, dip into Gronk. Was, was one of our favorite Gronk. like sports figures to make fun of on At Midnight and and he and it's because it's too easy. He's like this... Oops. He's yeah, all he's, good, he good. plays for the Pats and like he's like he also has a cruise. He had like a party cruise where he can party with Gronk. I didn't know that. And about please... Him. YouTube every there's one like where he's on stage in some like neon short shorts and he's like just going for it. He's and doing he, a Naomi. Yeah, yeah. Does he feel the glow? He's really doing. Yeah, he felt the glow. Um, <laughs> and it's so ridiculous. He's the most ridiculous person. And like that's his persona like that is like his persona. So like they, so I think that's why they were just jumping and yelling. He's like, I'm the party dude and this is what party dude. Can you imagine They're friends if, though? Yeah, they yeah. they are, but can you imagine anyone in the crowd who didn't like doesn't watch football? <laughs> I had no clue what was going on. What that's where the, you know the, you know the security guard thought it was like a random fan. That's yeah. Right. It was like, trying to do her gerb. Yeah. Storyline wise, it's so weird to build up all these names over the year. Sammy Braun, especially. It's the big show's last one. Thank you. Uh, it's the big show's last uh, mania, if not last thing ever. And you give it to Mojo Raleigh. Yep. Yeah. That was, I, it was so funny because both me and Sarah, that was a pick we didn't get. And I was well, like, I don't think anyone got that. Yeah. Nobody got that pick. I don't know. We had a few people in the chat who did say Mojo Why? was, was oh, going to wow. win. Because I, he were those was joke, being Were those built, joke answers? No, he was being built up on SmackDown. He was. Oh. So... I don't watch SmackDown as much because I get real burnt out from three hours of Raw, so I usually mm-hmm. just catch up later, so it didn't yeah, let's, occur let's, to me. Let's take a quick second to talk about that. Are we talking I mean, about length again? Kind of. Because, like, mm-hmm. okay. like, you know, everyone wants to catch that post-Mania Raw. Yeah. And like like yes. we all did, I sat and I watched from beginning to end mm-hmm. WrestleMania. Uh, and then, like, I kind of caught the end of Raw. You know, my, my watching partner, uh, Kyle... If you're, I hope you're watching this, you motherfucker. Uh, he he was already watching Raw, and then so now I didn't have anyone to watch Raw with. Oh, he didn't wait. He was yeah, yeah, he didn't wait. He, he was like, like you know, I'm coming home. Um, <laughs> I live here. To show how desperate Ify is, this was on Sunday though for WrestleMania. He was like, I'm gonna come pick you up so we could talk about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, not in the city. Yeah, yeah. She wasn't in the city. Uh, oh, couldn't I was wait. At a mansion wait. with a pool. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. Uh, and so, so like, I just kind of caught like the last few heard about Kurt Angle I, and I was like, okay, I got the gist How's of that. Jumping all around though. And then right when it came after Re- SmackDown got spoiled, I was like, I don't think I can sit through and see it, you know? Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, there I'm were excited. other things that happened on SmackDown. SmackDown was more fun than Smackdown Raw. SmackDown was pretty good for me. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, good that's what I heard. But SmackDown like, was super fun. And normally, Weird too. I'm not. I'm not those so spoiler guys who like I hate spoilers. Like normally I, I hear a spoiler and I'll still watch it. Mm-hmm. But I think Nakamura was something I was really waiting for. So that would have been a genuine pop for me. Yeah. Seeing that and to just have it just snatched from me, I was real Snatch. still kind of salty. I got that spoiled for me too. Somebody just texted me in real time. No like, way. Like Nakamura. Mora, but like with emojis. Yeah. No, no. I hope he actually just <laughs> like. And I was like, "You're you the that worst." Wow, guys. So, pro tip for any of you who are getting <laughs> back into wrestling. For those of you who watch and you're, you know, we're the reason you're watching wrestling. Pat on the back. Thank you. Um, do not text your friends spoilers because it actually plays at different times for the West Coast. Um, so you might be excited by something you just saw, but potentially you could ruin Iffy's day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So please mm-hmm. keep that in mind when you are tweeting. Yeah, and then the next the day, next day, don't uh, don't message me and ask if I've seen SmackDown. And when I say no, getting ready to be like. But I saw you spoiled it. You go, oh, because Nakamura. <laughs> like, like, it was like back to back. Spoilers. Poor guy. I feel right, bad because he's a, he's a viewer. WrestleMania, though. Yeah, Dang, yeah. you going to make this man stop watching? Please, I appreciate you. Don't stop watching because if he's dumb. <laughs> um, so, Memorial Battle, as we said, Mojo, who could have predicted it? The chat predicted it. Uh, the cruiserweight match was awesome, except like for the lot. fact that I thought Austin Aries from that oh. Snap German suplex was dead. 
Uh, <laughs> he got right back up, but I didn't know if that was just, you he know, his, his body head. twitching. Yeah, he yeah. definitely landed right on the top of his head. Yeah, oh, oh. That's not how that's supposed to go. No. I'm glad Neville held the title. I like <laughs> heel title Neville. Yeah. I can't handle undercut. I can't handle the undercut. <laughs> no, he's an orc. You have to be okay. He's supposed to be hideous. Okay, so I need to like reposition my brain and be like, that's not a human. It's an orc. <laughs> yeah, it's an orc. King of the Crows awaits <laughs> underground in Mordor. I, I, yeah, I love heel Neville. Like, love it. I'm Neville. Evil hey, Neville. Neville. Get it? I love um, that. Yeah, I'm, Mega yeah. Neville. Yeah, but I can't with the undercut. His head looks huge. Bulbous. Yeah, it's like a, it's, he's an orc. Yeah. Okay, he's cool. He's got I'm, slightly pointy ears. You know, very, yes, he does. Killer beard. Killer beard. Yeah, Ed killer. Like I would kill you if you ever grew that beard. He's got them hard kicks now. I mean, he's always had those good kicks, but now I'm like he's putting some putting some juice. Seventy five abs. Very stiff with each other. Mm. And Austin seemed even stiffer the the last match he had before Neville. Um, I think it was Gallagher. 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 I always have to stop myself from saying Gallagher because that's not his name. Anyway, um, nope. but the, but the match was great. <laughs> it was really entertaining. But yeah, those snap German suplexes. I don't know how people can get back in the ring with ring with him after those because I've seen him do it before. Mm. Um, they're they're pretty dangerous. People are really putting their re- livelihood on the line for us. Okay, anything else we want to say about the cruiserweight title? No. Nope. Good Moving job. on. Intercontinental title with uh, Dean and two titles Baron. on the pre-show. Because so embarrassing. We talked. We we spoke up and we said, "Why the women?" And they were like, "Okay, well, cruiserweights. Nobody cares about them." And we we're like, "Uh." uh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sacrifices that's, must be made. That's the one we wanted, though. I know. I feel like everybody was really upset that uh, Dean's match was in the pre-show. But if I had to choose between the cruiserweight and that match, I cruiserweight I would want on the yeah. Their SmackDown match is actually what should have been. I the agree. Match. Their Street yes. Fight SmackDown yeah, it, match it, was it, good. Yeah, it had tension. It had great setups. Not you know the WrestleMania was just flat. And you know mm. maybe there's a good reason for that because. During WrestleMania, everyone's match really has to try to stick to the time frame that they have because mm-hmm. they're trying to fit so many, you know, matches in. Mm-hmm. So giving them the freedom of being able to do that in a better, longer match, I'm not necessarily upset about it. I think, you know, at least they got to have that good match right afterwards. Yeah, yeah it's interesting. It's like when you look at the three Shield guys, and it's not that Dean hasn't gotten the push. He had the title for a while last year and all this other stuff, but it does kind of feel like whether it's his character, whatever they're trying to give him to do, has kind of plateaued since Money in the Bank, since yeah. he won the title. It kind of just feels like he's on neutral. Whereas, like, Seth and Roman, which we won't talk about Roman, that what he did on Raw was amazing. Um, it kind of feels like they're trying things with those characters and where they're taking them, and Dean is just like, you just have JBL being like, he's crazy. Right, There's, <laughs> but what else do you do? Be crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's, let's talk about that. I was gonna get your gimmick stolen by Baron Corbin. Yeah, I was, <laughs> yeah. I was, I was totally gonna mention how many times he kept saying he's crazy. You don't know what he's gonna do. He's crazy. He's un, you, un, you can't even de- like he said it. He's so unpredictable, much. Michael. Yeah, you, you just don't know because he's crazy. It's like, oh, you guys are really trying to push this crazy thing. Which is kind of <sighs> which they tried to do at the last Mania with the Brock match, where they're like, he's got, he's like, he's like Terry Funk and Mick Foley. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's kind of awkward because, like, what else can you do with, like, I'm insane and I my fans are in an asylum. Like, it's not. They need to exploit the Renee relationship. Yes. They need to Which do... they were doing with The Miz. And yeah. that was a good little angle. Yeah, they to I mean. And, yeah, then they gave it to Cena. Yeah. Well, the problem is that uh, there's no complexity to Dean. He's just, he's crazy. So if you give him something that grounds him, like Renee, who's so composed and articulate and, like, such a rock for the WWE, then I feel like maybe people might start to like him again. It humanizes him. Well, because the crazy, the people they, they often try to compare him to, or fans compare him to, is like, you have Roddy Piper, but Roddy Piper's crazy was also like smart. Like yep. he can out talk people. Oh, yeah. They don't give Dean that. Brian Pillman was like squirrely, but was also kind of the sidekick to people who would kind of slap him around until Brian Pillman would snap on them. They're not giving that to Dean. Dean's not anyone's sidekick. Mm-hmm. Like, like Pillman was the Stone Cold of the Heart Foundation. So it's just kind of like Dean is like, oh, he's like these two characters, but he's lacking these other things where you're just kind of yeah. like, I guess. Also, I don't know if you guys watch Total Divas. Oh, but, I do. With the hat thing. <laughs> but no, but he's, oh, kind, you know, got... he's, kind, of, he's kind of a dick. Yeah. Like he's, ki- he's really not that likable, which is upsetting <laughs> because I really like him. And so watching Total Divas and seeing him just be completely inconsiderate of like anybody around him, Maybe they're, this is on purpose. <laughs> well, there's yeah. a little, yeah, the backstage drama. Uh, yeah, because you get, like, all they say about him on Total Divas is like, well, he likes to stay at home. So Renee's like, let's go do this, that, and the other. He's like, why? 
<laughs> what? He's oh. like, she's like, my mom's coming over, and he's like, I don't that, care. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's very you socially awkward. Yeah. But yeah. But you can't have hair that bad and also have a bad personality. No. That's terrible. I also Shit want to bad. talk about uh, Tolo Divas because I, I, um, I didn't know that it was on the E Network, mm-hmm. and I, and that just kind of changes the strength of total divas for me because i feel like yeah i feel like having it on a network like e where like yeah that's the perfect demo for a show like that you can bring you can bring this new fan base and you know maybe no absolutely um so when i used to take ubers to wrestle you know it shows up as santino's wrestling school so anytime a woman was my driver and she was taking me there, picking me up, she'd say, oh, do you, have you heard of Total Divas? Mm-hmm. These women did not watch wrestling. Yeah. No. They had knew nothing about yeah. wrestling, but they would watch Total Divas. My I yoga instructor you. started watching wrestling my because of, yeah, because wrestling wrestling of Total too. Divas. <laughs> That's their gateway. Yoga right? is yeah. how I survived wrestling. So <laughs> there you go. It all comes together, Symbiosis. guys. Uh, and it, it, uh, Total Divas did come back this week, so we are going to go talk about more it. in depth because uh, it's such a huge week, so we're probably going to double up. No, I didn't week. know Lana wanted to go back to NXT. I know. Crazy. That was, that was Crazy. So yeah, did you see your little Michael Jackson stuff? Okay, mm. anyway. Um, so Jericho and Owens. This was good. I'm sorry. It, I skipped AJ and Shane, and we have to talk about AJ and Shane. Okay. And that was probably the best or the most entertaining match on the card, at least for me. Really? That's yeah. interesting. That it, it, interesting. It was surprisingly because I didn't think, you know, I didn't want to see AJ against Shane just because I thought it was another wasted opportunity. But it turned out that it was, I think because they were first and people weren't burned out, you know, eight hours later. Yeah. I think that kind of helped. Yeah. If it had been in the middle of the card, I don't think it would have helped. And there was no like crazy high spots. People were expecting Shane to go on that and play the whole, you know, ring or Think of your kids. You didn't get to yell at once. AJ can make anybody look good. Yes. It, like oh, yeah. anybody, so yeah, it it was it was fun to watch AJ. <laughs> yeah, AJ is always fun to watch, and those memes of his hair you can't you can't. They were, yeah. It was just so beautiful. A lot of people I noticed their hair during because like the wind was blowing, yeah. so everyone oh, looked like a mighty warrior standing oh, yeah. before like facing their foe. It was beautiful. It did look like during the Andre Battle Royal, I was following people on Twitter who were there, and they're like, "Oh, it's starting to sprinkle," and I was oh, like, no. well, "Is this going to rain?" It didn't end up raining, but that would have been pretty yeah. cool. I missed. Yeah. That. I missed that one. Um, so for AJ and Shane, I think it was interesting how much uh, Shane tried to show, like, hey, look, I can wrestle as mm-hmm. well. Like, that was a really big deal to him. And um, when the commentators were like, you don't know what Shane looks like under that that shirt. He's ripped under there or something like that. They said something <laughs> like that. And I was like, yo, these are facts because I have never seen him. Not in that, like, I, not in a shirt. Well, you ever, did, did you not one. see when he fought The Undertaker on Raw where he kind of, like, brought his shirt up to wipe his face and he had, like, a crazy pa- eight pack? No, really? I didn't see well, that. Let me pull these but, Oh, my up. God, please. But I'm not that surprised because, so, like I said, starting to wrestle and everything, I no- start noticing weird things. For example, how he holds his body when he does a lot of those moves where he's in the air. That takes so much core strength to mm-hmm. hold your body in certain positions. I'm like, wait a minute. He looks big because he's wearing, like, you know, the shirt. So you just think, oh, he's got a dad body. But th- mm-hmm. that's probably muscle he's got his dad's body you know, because vince is very like you know vince, blocky vince. muscular yeah so. i forgot about vince i didn't i never forget he <laughs> came back that's great vince yes. in his tank tops uh, uh, okay sorry <laughs> he looks he does look very so this old was, this yeah, was the raw right before crazy. mania where he fought the undertaker oh my god yeah we'll we'll have to post this on twitter for you guys I don't like that I can see a little of his happy trail. I feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> I like okay. that. I don't like oh, it. Buff, I'm yeah, surprised at myself. Boy. He's a daddy. Because, well, also because he's got a little bit of a rounder face, so you would think he may have like right. no, no. He's, he's got he's one of the. He's got that jacked. footballer thing where he's like round face and then ripped. That's, yeah. that's my face. Uh, anyway, wow. Um, <laughs> so you know, yeah, like you guys said, nothing, nothing crazy, but a good solid match. Well, he made Shane look good. Yeah, which yeah. I know bothered a lot of people actually mm. that he made Shane look that good. Because like a lot of people feel AJ is the best wrestler in the company, so it's not that he should have cleaned the floor with Shane, but that it shouldn't have looked as competitive as it did. Um, as if like Shane is somehow an equal to AJ Styles in ability, despite the fact that AJ won. I didn't feel that way, but I understand yeah. why some people I didn't, did. And I don't feel like the story they told in the ring was that either. Mm-hmm. I feel like it was that AJ wasn't taking um, Shane seriously. Right. And yeah. then suffered for it and then started to take him seriously. And Shane had to pull a few more tricks out of the bag. So to me, it all kind of story-wise played out in a way that made sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for me, I think it, it made AJ remain strong and then it made Shane look stronger. I don't think anybody looked weak in that match and like especially AJ because right. it's 
I don't I it didn't bother me at all. And I think we're all kind of rooting for Shane too in a, in a way. Right. So not me. you're not rooting for <laughs> Shane. Rooting for Shane, but it's fine. You I, don't want the money? No. But I, it comes. You know Here it's it not comes. all about the money. 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 Uh, so it's it's funny though because uh, on Women Wrestling Friends podcast that I'm totally talking about, I'm ready to ramble. Ha <laughs> ha! Suck it, fellow host. Uh, we I don't actually talked about the fact that. <laughs> well, could you care a little so we have some drama? Jeez. I mean, I'm happy for you. <laughs> uh, anyway, we talked about the fact that uh, the only way for this to end is for Shane and AJ to shake hands afterwards. And then on SmackDown, they did the handshake, and we yeah. were like, we are so good at wrestling, guys. <laughs> uh, but it was really the only, even now knowing, sorry, that they, they're they having the superstar, what are they calling it? Superstar shake-up? Shake up? Yeah. yeah. Shake up. Uh, it could have been fine to not have them shake hands, but normally the only way someone can stay on the thing after fighting a McMahon is, now I respect you a lot. Yeah. Well, going online, I, I read a or lot do that the Undertaker now, and just don't come back <laughs> right <laughs> after. Basically, AJ now is a made man with the McMahons because he made Shane look really good in the match. So right. I think this next year, he's going to get more push, more poster time, and you know, ex- er- like everything he's been fighting for. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah, those posters. That'll be awesome. And there yeah. are some rumors that he might not be staying at SmackDown, though. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. On to the best friend finale. Jericho and Owens. Mm-hmm. Um, I was very disappointed. Yeah, yeah this was I liked it, but this this had the potential to be match of the night kind of a thing uh, because that's the only one that kind of had like a long storyline buildup, unlike many of the other matches in the yeah. on the card. And it just felt like a match beside the bigger crowd. You probably would have seen them do on a Raw. I, I don't know. I, uh, there was lots of fun things I liked. Like, mm-hmm. come on, that finger. That finger. Oh, the finger oh, was that great. Was that yeah. little finger. moment? Yeah. That oh, finger. that was great. So For anyone who didn't see it, there was a moment where uh, Kevin Owens was about to be out. For those of you who don't know wrestling that much, if you touch the ropes, you uh, they have to break the count. And he just reached out the last second and just touched it with a finger. It, it was just so it. perfect because he was laid out and then he just... Like, <laughs> just like that. It was exactly so what it good. Like. Um, but I've... Someone else pointed it out to me, and I think it made sense. I was like, what's missing from this match for me? What didn't I like it? Why didn't I like it? And I feel like normally Kevin Owens feels like he's trying to kill the other person he's in the ring with. He's a prize fighter. That's the whole thing. And I didn't feel that emotion from this fight with Jericho when I should have felt it more than anything. Yeah. As it, even from Jericho. And I felt like they both were just, you know, having a wrestle. I think mm-hmm. it's played out. I just think it's played out. Unfortunately, because that was so good. It was. It was, it was really, really good. good while it lasted. I'm glad that they... I don't know why they fought again at WrestleMania. Well, it's the weird thing of like, it almost feels like the the Friendship is Magic debacle should have happened like three weeks ago. So it had that big, powerful buildup as opposed to like two months ago. Yeah. And then he interferes with the Goldberg match. And it kind of feels like You're you right. wanted that finale yeah. sooner. Yeah. Yeah. That makes I sense. can agree with that. Ooh, awesome. that'd be fun. It would have. And <laughs> oh, man, the Festival of Friendship, it was so good. Um, so the Raw Tag Team titles. What happened? Oh, yeah. That was the best part of the night. (laughs) Oh, yeah. You mean the Hardys? (laughs) So this was in stages, right? Oh, my God. First of all, I was like, oh, really excited that, you know, Enzo and Sheamus and them going to have this ladder match. I love ladder matches. It's going to be crazy. And then the New Day comes out, right? Um, So I'm like, oh, sniggity snap. It was done so well. And then there's a lady in the crowd, right? And if you go back and watch it, I'm that lady. The face she makes when she sees the New Day come out, she goes, like that because they were in there it's worth noting new deal was hosting they were in their gear yes yeah they were in their gear so they come out they say there's another tag team entering got goosebumps i got goosebumps talking about it again and then it wasn't them it was the hardy boys (laughs) but what was great too is they really faked you out because like because because kyle called it like i called it here but then while we were watching it we were like okay everyone came out and kyle called it goes no um he was like, they, they're still, like, he, he said, um, like, they didn't do something yet. And he was like, there's something's going to happen. And then that's when the uh, New Day came out. I was like, no, there's, they, this isn't going to happen. And then they even did, I wonder who that's going to be, and started walking towards it like they were coming yep. out. Yeah. And then that music came on, and, I mean, you Pop saw my so video hard. on Twitter. Yeah, no, I knew, I knew it wasn't them, though, pretty immediately, mm-hmm. because – uh, 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 Woods started. You're like, Austin, uh, you can call him. Okay, Austin. cool. I get I enough. get confused. Um, so yeah, <laughs> Austin started to like like do this with his shoulders, like warm up his shoulders, and I was like, you're being extra right now. Like <laughs> you're being extra. that's too much. You're putting you're too do- much sauce you're on it. You're doing too much. <laughs> and right when he started doing that, I was like, Hardys, and the people that I was with were like, 
No, 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 no. Look at him. Look, he's not wearing a shirt. He's gonna. They're all gonna fight, See, and it's gonna be. And I'm like, no, no, it's too much. That's that's exactly what I loved about the Hardy showing up because mm-hmm. so many smarks were like, "There's no way. It's not gonna happen. It. it couldn't." You all over Reddit, squared circle. There's no way. Well, the night before mm-hmm. they had a Ring of Honor match, yeah. which was another ladder. Yeah, match. yeah. So people were like, "That was such a brutal match. And nobody." Yeah, exactly. Come out. So many and smarks. For anyone who hasn't watched our earlier shows or heard us talk about about um, the Hardys, what they're doing right now is they're collecting all of the tag team gold. So, okay, it's awesome enough that they're on WrestleMania. They're back with WWE. Cool. But there's no way they're going to let them win the titles. And then they did. In a yes! great That latter spot by Jeff Hardy. I'm oh like, you madman. It was so yeah. hard to watch, though, because you know that Sheamus' eye like still hurts from having the thing and just seeing his foot just kind of land right <laughs> on it. I was like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, also Cesaro oh. got none of that spot. <laughs> he didn't yeah. even touch yeah. Cesaro. Yeah. <laughs> it was such an interesting spot because one just, ladder bent like, and the other did not. Yeah. Yeah. So Cesaro had to like roll off and be like, ouchie. <laughs> oh, oh, you hit me with your butt touch me. a little. <laughs> but you know in his head, he was like, oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My favorite part of all of WrestleMania was the Hardys coming out yeah. and then like Jeff just like vigorously humping the air and I was like, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Well, then, and then Matt doing the, <laughs> oh, yeah, what do you guys, on the ramp. What do you guys think about the legal issues of Broken Matt and Brother Neo because they kind of played it a little bit, but not that much, and they were just using their old school theme songs. So, so this was yeah. this was my thought because it looks like at the moment they're not doing it for the most part. And this I thought was a good point, and I think it was actually Matt Fowler on IGN made this point: is that this is the smartest thing WWE can do is bring them back as we knew them before. Because not everyone, the WrestleMania crowd knows about Delete. The sure. Raw after WrestleMania crowd knows about the Broken Hardies. The general maybe public who only watches WrestleMania and the occasional Raw does not. So this is a way for WWE to do that storyline again by bringing them back in as yeah. the normal Hardys. And then if they lose the titles, you can have Matt blame Jeff, and then he comes back as broken Matt and yeah. uh, throughout the year. Yeah. Also, uh, I don't know if if any of you saw this, but on the uh, WWE Snapchat, they were saying that. It was like, the title's broken, and they were, right, they were really cheesing and, yeah. it. Yeah, but, but you know, they were free to do that since it wasn't It was more like, like an Easter egg yeah, than exactly. that being their yeah. actual gimmick. That was, uh, I'm so glad to have the delete chant, too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that <laughs> mania was great. It was, yeah. good. That was so, so good. great. Uh, so good. My, I just had one little tiny thing that, you know, put a little hiccup in it for me, and it's, where is he still buying those pants? <laughs> he, even the oh, belt or Jeff. is the same as before. And uh, like, where are they? And someone said Hot Topic, and I said, honey, you ain't been in a Hot Topic in a minute. It's just anime now. You can't find those pants. Mm-hmm. Anyway, that, that was, you know, the only... If they got money, they probably got to get them made. Yeah, They're custom just, made. Custom, or custom jinkos fit. or whatever those are. Or custom yeah. jinkos. I was never cool enough to have those kinds of pants. I'm pretty sure he jinkos. just has the same One? wardrobe from forever. It looks like it, actually. Yeah. So we went back and watched some older, like, WrestleManias and stuff like that after WrestleMania was over, and I was like, that's the exact... Yep. Yeah. So, like with the, the belt and everything, black shirt yeah. and the yeah, yeah the I'm, shirt was different. I remember like the sleeves used to be more like fishnet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's true. Maybe you can't find those. If he goes to That's Jamaica, you he can find, find, find the fishnets. And there's like still a lot of fishnet based clothing in the Caribbean. If he goes to any like pleasure chest type situation, <laughs> he can find it. Yo, what if, if he's I, fine with spandex? What if on a sexy night your man opens the door and it's you in like Jeff Hardy clothes? Then <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like. <laughs> yeah. Thrusting yeah. everywhere with a towel in your pocket. Yeah. Delete. Delete. But, uh, but like, <laughs> speaking of like the Caribbean, it is true they do have <laughs> a lot of. I we when I like went it, to we <laughs> yeah I went to a, a cruise in the Bahamas once and I bought back Aurora this like mesh, <laughs> this <laughs> mesh <laughs> top, but it just was Jamaican colors. <laughs> And I was like, you never wear that. She's like, how am I supposed to wear it? Like, <laughs> you wear a bra, and then it's just over. Yeah, she's like, like, I'm a mom. Show, show her a few. <laughs> no, show her a few Jamaican music videos. Yeah. And yeah, you wear the black yeah, no, bra, mm-hmm. and her. then you wear it over. <laughs> like, I don't understand <laughs> why you're... Oh, nope, that's not a Caribbean beat. You're on the that's wrong amazing. number of... Uh, <laughs> Dave Littell, thank you very Calypso. much. Let me hold you. Let me rest my body. That's not... You got me going great. You mean Kevin Little? Turn me up. Turn okay. me up. Yeah, that was my hug me, hug me, jam. Squeeze me, squeeze me. <laughs> hug me, hold me. Jam. Kiss and caress me. I can do the whole song. Uh, <laughs> John Cena, Nikki Bella, The Miz, did we, and Did we miss, jump over the women's Raw match? Women's we Raw did. Title? You're right. Uh-oh. No, no, wait. They came after. I, I thought it was earlier mm-hmm. in the night. No, they were 
Weren't they later? I thought they were before the tag team. Listen, it's not important. It Which one do you want to talk about, everybody? Take a vote, real quick. Miz. All right, it's going to be the Miz. Thank you, Rachel, for being the only one. I got nervous. Yeah. Uh, I will say the most disappointing part about this match for me was Maurice really did not wrestle. Not at all. Yeah. I was like, get her in there. That's what was so funny is it started with both mm-hmm. of them and then they ran out. Because cause like, I remember Kyle was like, oh shit, Maurice is going to wrestle. And then like the tag, I was like, no, they're not. Nope. <laughs> nope. Never mind. Never mind. Well, I mean, it, it felt like a Monday Night Raw match. It didn't, yeah. it didn't feel like a big pay-per-view WrestleMania sort of match. Oh yeah, without the engagement, that match Wait, is momentless. Did did their like no 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 was that on Raw or was that on WrestleMania where they came out as Cena and Oh no that was SmackDown, Smackdown. Was this, oh whatever because that's you know when what Nakamura came out. yeah when they, oh whatever when, <laughs> yeah that was SmackDown yeah okay we'll talk about it later okay yeah no, that was, was pretty good though yeah I think what the only thing that was exciting about the match is none of us had seen Maurice wrestle in so long so we were kind of looking forward to yeah. that we already knew who was going to win the match yeah and then we didn't even get that. So I was a little disappointed with this one. And then the engagement yeah. happened. Blech. And I wasn't just upset because if he won, I was upset because it's kind of a weird fake thing to do, which is oh. exactly what the Miz accused him of. It was and totally it's, manufactured. Yeah. It was like, oh, yeah. And it's a weird thing for know, Nikki though. to be like, oh my God, I'm so surprised. It's I, like, you're on, you're not, it's WrestleMania. She didn't even do a good job of know, looking I know. I don't know. You know, <laughs> I don't think it was so fake. I mean, he broke kayfabe with her name. You know, he broke kayfabe. That was, that was a real a, deal. You don't think that was calculated? Nah. He's nah. got so much money. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> Yeah, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm all about it. Marking as out. As soon as I saw the, the mother was there, though, I was like, "Damn it, if he's about yeah, to yeah, I knew it. I knew, when they hugged the mom, I'm like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> did you dab? Up? Did you? Yeah. God, I hate you. <laughs> hate you. Well, another also saying, which is interesting, that uh, they did a uh, Miz and Maurice as Nikki on SmackDown because mm-hmm. there's now rumors that that was also maybe Nikki's last match. That oh. like an unofficial retirement match. Yeah, I've read that she's had like neck issues with her surgically yeah. repaired neck. So that's sad. Her surgery. I don't like her, but that's sad. It's a weird yeah. WrestleMania where there's so many retirements. Well, what's apparently. really yeah. interesting about Nikki is she's gotten like so much love lately. Mm-hmm. Like it, the crowd pops for Nikki, and that's kind of a crazy thing. Um, <laughs> it's especially amazing when they've what got going all... away for a little while can do for you. And right. also a, a hit, te- two hit television right. shows, three. It doesn't hurt that she's pretty and, and got a nice body. So and she does that butt thing too. Right. That's good. They love yeah. it. The little yeah. Na, 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 na. yeah. So anyway, it. it's a uh, it's it's all very interesting. But the match was not as interesting as all of that. Mm. So the Raw Women's Title. All right. So I didn't love everything about this match, but there was one moment that I loved a lot, and it was when Bailey gets on the apron. And then Sasha gets on the apron, and then Charlotte got on the apron, and then they all looked at each other, and like a pack of raptors, they went after Nia Jax. Sasha literally just grabbed this woman's ankle, and mm-hmm. it was beautiful. I loved it. It was actually my favorite match of the night. <laughs> oh, it was, I mean, it made Nia Jax look good. Oh, yeah. still strong, oh, I thought everyone looked really was, good walking out. Like, it, it reminded me a lot of last year's Mania women's match, which was a better match, the three-way uh, women's match, but um, it's one of those things where it's like everyone walked away looking pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. The only downside is then, like, unlike a lot of the other, like, where we say, like, oh, Dean and um, Baron Corbin got their storyline continued, had a better match. They, the women had a great match, and then on Raw, I was just like, ah, oh, you're in a tag team. I don't know. Like, I was like, there's no storyline well, continuation. Think about on it. Raw. What could you do? Because the story should have been Bailey won the title at WrestleMania. And Sasha turns mm-hmm. on her. Monday. That's what should have been. Yeah, that's what should have happened to make a story happen. Instead, we have Bailey coming in already as the champion, and the good guy won. What was supposed to happen? And Charlotte doesn't have her pay-per-view record anymore. Right. So. Like, I don't I don't know why they did what they did. It's strange, and it kind of deaded the story. And I hope they don't start doing the SmackDown thing to get all the women on every show of having all the women participate every single week instead of telling actual stories. But, but they, that's every WrestleMania now. Like, they just toss all the women in in one big mm-hmm. match, and it's um, sort of a mess. But I hope... Next year, it's just one on one for the title, and yeah, and it's not just. And to be clear, for anyone like I said who doesn't watch a lot of wrestling, this is common. Anytime you have more than two people in a ring, to be perfectly honest, unless they're a tag team who really knows what they're doing, there's a lot of downtime when you have extra people in the ring, and there are a lot of moments where it's very clearly fabricated to have somebody not participating. So anytime you get a bunch of people in a ring, you're going to have a less higher quality match. So this is just part of what happens. It's not just the women; it's it's across the board. Yes. All right, the unsanctioned match. Before we get in the match, I want to talk about the entrances. Hot um, dad and hot mom 
stopped into that store where they you get the sleeve that looked like a sleeve tattoo on your shirts and they got the print on the back of the jeans. I can't remember what type of store that's called. Um, and they got their motorcycle with their retirement money and the kids are gone and she maybe raided a couple necklaces from her daughter and then they got on the bike and rode out and it was adorable to me. I loved it. I loved it too. Even though she was on a light, they couldn't get her a little seat before the show. It's fine, whatever. She had her butt on a light that whole time, but she's very But it looked, did you see it? Yeah, her butt looked amazing on that light. It's yeah, true. Maybe that's I was okay with it. that. She looked great. She and they're so cool. Hot. They're so cheese. cool. They were, yeah. they were cool, there's Dad, a, and cool mom. There's they a cheese are. factor to uh, Hunter's at WrestleMania entrances that I appreciate mm-hmm. as someone who enjoys, like, schlock. It's pure yeah. schlock. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. It is amazing schlock. You don't... You don't uh, as a, did you love that huge... Uh, just bought by Terminator entrance that one. That was the one that didn't work for me. Actually. <laughs> really? Too big? One. Not too big. It, it felt like it, it, it felt like product placement as yeah. opposed to the other ones, which always feel like weird theatrical things. Yeah. Whereas this was like we like, made a deal with a movie studio. Right. Yeah. That and we're gonna sense. put it on Hunter's entrance. I loved when he spit the water because you could see Stephanie behind him and the yeah. wind blew a little bit into her face, <laughs> and you could just see her face going, "Don't react, don't react. This is so fucking gross. Don't react." <laughs> like, Ooh, my man just spit on my face. Consummate professional. Yeah. And then Seth came out looking like a knight from Dark Souls with his little shield to his little chainmail <laughs> on his hip. Then he lit the Lord of Cinder with the fire that spread down the ramp. This was Dark Souls acted out. It was beautiful. I, I think cool. that was one of my favorite things about WrestleMania was this ramp and all the crazy shit they were doing. Oh, about. yeah. Like, oh, even, when did we get to the snake? Oh, in, 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 we're definitely going to talk about my man's uh, <laughs> uh, Roman Reigns that got no love, but it was hella cool. It was cool. <laughs> it was hella cool. I've never seen something so cool happen with no, no reaction. Yeah. Like wait, the, wait, you can tell. Wait, what happened again? When he like put his he fist down, it was like, bah, 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 bah. oh yeah, I uh, reacted. Yeah. I grabbed the person next to me's yeah. shoulder. I was like, that's well, so cool. And I was yeah, like, I'm a but child. Every, but everyone was like, mm. <laughs> I reacted the same way everybody in the stadium did. I was like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> All oh right. my god, and you know, like he, he, I standing up, I could just see in his face. It was like. That was cool. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all might not be like, but that was cool. So, Seth, uh, Seth and Triple H. The match itself wasn't as cool to me as the entrances. That was uh, almost I, a 20-minute match, oh, I think. Yeah? It was pretty oh long. It was, it was one of the longest matches. Storytelling-wise of the match, too, there is something to... The, fa- the whole build-up is like Seth's knee, Seth's knee. So they're almost... And, you know, it's, it's almost like how Neville will not do the Red Arrow because that's a uh, face ending. So he's like, I'm not going to do that for you people. There's almost like storyline-wise, the match didn't make sense for Seth to do as many of his high-flying moves. They kept and saying not it sell in the it. commentary, too. Yeah. The commentary team kept saying, well, he keeps running his knee and, th- and doing things that don't make sense. And you're like, okay, if the commentary team is saying this, that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it kind of like, in a weird storytelling way, it kind of made me like, it took me out of the match. Like, it would have been interesting to see Seth be like, like, if you hear, like, oh, Rollins has to do a ground, more ground offense. He can't mm-hmm. do his things because of his knee. This is an unsanctioned match. It's a different kind of match for Seth. Right. And yeah. that didn't happen? Not at all. Uh, do you want to talk about the table spot? That apparently, I loved it. Apparently, is going to take Stephanie McMahon out for months. Oh, she was so like, I need a vacation. She took Throw a me spear a table. last year back the next night. <laughs> falling on a table months what impressed well, I, me about this one is she fell sideways i was like that's different she looks like she's taking a nap i like it a lot cute. it was cute she's like oh i'm, I'm in the table I, it was it was some much needed comeuppance i feel like she never gets comeuppance which is why uh, she's my favorite heel oh yeah but she's great. yeah she's amazing and she's incredible and i absolutely love her but the problem with her character is that she never has any sort there's we never feel validated so like this as comeuppance was wonderful so I enjoyed it a lot, and I think that it it like salute. I is Rollins a face? I think he is. He's right now. Was triple, yeah. He didn't because Rollins didn't do it to her. Triple H bumped into right. her. Right, right, which is fun too. Yeah, yeah. It was that cute was that we got the fake out, like the oh, I protected myself, and then like they turned around and they that hit was it. Too much for me too. When he was like, oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> not <laughs> okay, not my yeah, wife. That was when just him looking down like, oh. I know. <laughs> what would have been cool? <laughs> what would have been cool is that if he like almost hit her and then like k- kissed her real quick and was like, be right back. Oh, yeah. and that's then, cute. Ah, I know, but instead he was just like shaking, like I'm not my wife. <laughs> so it looked like he was scared. He really over. respects women, okay? Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else to say about that match before we move on to the SmackDown Women's Title? Now this is a point where I got it's real nervous. Long. I wouldn't have minded if it was like a short, brutal match. Yeah, 
I agree, especially again for the. What injury. they've been building up too. Right. We're like they were. Every Monday was them bashing each other with weapons and all this other stuff. I'm like a sledgehammer. Been like mm-hmm. yeah, that's not allowed. Well, nothing happened so with good. it. Did no, it? there's no. no way. They don't even let people hit you with a kendo stick anywhere but your armored chest. They're definitely not letting you get hit with a sledgehammer. Lame. Uh, <laughs> I want blood. Oh, thing. <laughs> um, WWE forever. <laughs> so I got real nervous that the SmackDown's women's title wasn't even going to happen by this point. Because yeah. I'm like, there's no way they're going to yeah. put this match oh, after all of this. They, they cut, yeah. it. They cut no. it in half. Yeah, it was like super rushed. Like Yeah. The spot, I'll, it was crazy, but I love that. I was like, whoa, what's happening? Yeah. So many people. Yeah. It was really quick. Pretty much, we all, I, I'm figuring we all knew Naomi was going to win when she came back uh-huh. to go home well, SmackDown. I was disappointed they didn't have any surprise entrance. Yes. I thought, yeah, every, I thought Tamina was coming or something. Dude, I was hoping for Oscar. <laughs> I just love Naomi. Bring I'm it so to <laughs> the... <laughs> man, man, well, there's man, even man, reports man. that Lita might have... You know, been making a surprise. Or Kelly Kelly. Movies. Or Beth Phoenix. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, there were a lot of mm. people who could have come and nobody did. It was just the... I like to imagine that they women. were supposed to come, but they just got bumped so much yeah, they that backstage. they're just sitting yeah. backstage like... In full yeah, gear. Yeah, yeah. We don't have time to do we it. Don't, I'm sorry, I'm sorry we're going to have to I'm miss sorry, that Lita, I'm sorry, Lita. I'm sorry, Asuka. I'm sorry. Sorry, <laughs> Tamina. <laughs> they're all we're going to make an appearance. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I do have to just point out, because apparently a lot of people didn't get this, so I do want to let you guys know that I'm nerd enough to know this. I hope most of you are nerdy enough to know this. But Becky Lynch was dressed as a Celtic warrior. That's why she had the face paint and the dreadlocks and the raggedy ass looking outfit. That was not appropriation of dreadlocks from like Coachella <laughs> and stuff. A lot of people were oh, just I like, why did she have dreadlocks? I was thinking she was doing a Horizon Zero Dawn well, type deal. Well, if you deal, look you know? at Jonathan Davis from you know, A lot of people have said this, but I don't think you guys really paid attention to Horizon Zero Dawn because her hair is not in dreadlocks in that game. She has uh, roped braids in her hair. They're they're big chunky braids. They're not dreadlocks. Well, that doesn't mm, that, mm. and they're loose uh, at the end. Um, ex- yeah, but you know, Hurt. most people don't have the PlayStation Pro, so they're getting they're not getting the frames. Like to at see least that. three different people. <laughs> they're not getting at, the frames. At least three to different people that. said that to me. They were like, "Oh, it's like alloy," and I'm like, first of all, even if alloy's hair was in dreads, it's not like super tight, really tiny dreads like that. Like that looks nothing like her. Oh, uh, you guys don't pay any attention. In, in their defense, white people yeah. can't get tight dreads. That's De- Becky has some tight dreads. I know. There was a black one backstage that mm. did that for her. Mm. And what, about, they don't, what about a Mickey James as a headdress? Too? I heard she is one six Powett Hatton. Tribe? Yeah, we had to look that. it up. But if you have to look it up, that is not the thing to wear. If people don't know that about you already after this long, <laughs> don't come out at WrestleMania in a headdress. What's interesting about it is she's from Richmond. Uh, I'm from Virginia as well. Lived in Richmond for five years. Everybody and their mama claims that they're from Pocahontas' tribe, mm-hmm. but the vast majority of us aren't because of a little thing called the Trail of Tears, uh, in which most Native American people in Virginia were kicked out and died. So it's kind of a thing. And But at the same time, if, she, if that's part of her culture, if she was raised treating that as something, then who am I to say, oh, you're, you're probably not, you know? So I was like, oh, mm-hmm. I'm just going to leave it alone. I mean, no, I, mean, I, that's, I is, feel like but... that's how, like, in the 90s, all... Every black person was like, I'm mixed with Cherokee. But it's really mixed that they're with mixed with white <laughs> yeah. is the problem. It's like, that's actually some slavery shit. And yeah. your family was like, we ain't even going to talk about that. We are Native yeah. American. And that's what happened. So, uh-huh. so it's good. I just, if it, if it's, if she's been exposed in wrestling for this long and she's never, ever, it's never, ever, ever been a thing. Yeah. If you, like I said, if you have to look it up, it's not your thing. Yeah. It had a little bit of you know Tatanka vibe to it when when she came out. I was yeah, like, that's what somebody I, said. Yeah, just caught me off guard for a moment. But. Yeah. <laughs> so as my friend said, she looked like she was going to Coachella, even if she was a Native American. I yeah. Mean, <laughs> I mean, so. yeah. So you had that, and you had Dread Girl. They're like, yeah. damn, this is what's up with the SmackDown? Match. Match. This is, I know this is the SmackDown problematic, uh, problematic Super Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> uh, at least we had Alexa Bliss as you know in Riddler gear. That right. was yeah. Cool. Just, yeah. just Harley Quinn ended up. Yeah, yeah. There was a lot going on. I was really happy to see Naomi win, mm-hmm. and um, then on SmackDown to see her retain. Beautiful. I love that girl. And people are finally. So this is a weird thing. I, I kind of talked about it with my friends, but um, there can be a sense sometimes if you like someone who's not one of the main champions or most popular people that you're the only person who likes that person. Right. But from the cheers, from the crowd reaction, it's so good to see how many other people knew that Naomi deserved this and that she should have been given a push a long time ago. I was just like, you guys. Mm. And in her hometown. So I kind of put the cherry it's on beautiful. Top. Yeah, in Orlando, yeah. yeah. I mean, that should have been the, like, if I wasn't really trying to, 
you know, use the secret to get Asuka to show up. That's who she would have been my pick. <laughs> so I feel like your hometown. I feel like hometown. It's a dead giveaway. Dead giveaway. Well, not necessarily because yeah. Sasha lost in her hometown at the Hell in a Cell. Yeah, yeah well, usually, but not Mania. Mania hometowns usually win. That's because Vince other, McMahon is racist. Yeah, I think, I think all the I think all the other hometown paper. Vince McMahon does not care about black people. Yeah. <laughs> he does it? It's a but, fact. Just standing there. <laughs> Please, nobody isolate that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we ain't never getting that commentary well, job we wanted. That'll, that'll get you really a that'll get you a, a follow from uh, Apollo Crews. Ah, uh, <laughs> like, love that man. He's like, he's like I, I fuck like, with you. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, Wyatt versus Orton. Oh, so much to unpack it here. First of all, can we talk about that 1992 snake that went down the ramp <laughs> with Randy Orton? It came right off a bicep. <laughs> right ramp. It looked cool when it was up top, yeah. but as soon as it did, it looked like it was straight from Eraser. Yeah. Like, like a crocodile. That looked like, crocodile was gonna that looked like some Torox shit to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, just, the budget just ran out with Randy. It yeah. Just, it was like, ah. Uh, it big old sperm snake. It was hilarious. And I, I loved to, it. I like to imagine Randy was up in After Effects making it himself. He's like, I'm gonna make my own. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this snake. He's making up YouTube videos of twelve year olds how to do this. Yeah, You're gonna learn how to make a snake in uh, After imagine. Effects Pro. Yeah, Let me oh open it up. God. And he has like reading glasses on, but he's still just in his like. Still get a butterface though. <laughs> no, it's Woody Randy. Oh, I know. Yeah. That body I, with that head. I hear YouTube tutorials in my head. <laughs> they talk to me. I don't understand, but they talk to me. He's having to go back 30 seconds and be like, wait, which tab? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's only funny to us. I don't know why. Oh, man. Um, so here was my problem with that match. Okay. There was magic. We yes. use magic to make the maggots and the cockroaches mm. and the earthworms who ain't <laughs> never harmed nobody. I don't know why earthworms were thrown in there. It's just icky. Into <laughs> the ring. And then they wasted it. They wasted magic on a loss. And to me, that was strange and unacceptable. Because how am I supposed to be afraid of a magic guy who can do crazy ass shit like project cockroaches? Mm-hmm. But is very easily defeated. He's like Ganondorf. Like Link's yeah. gonna beat him every time. But you're still like, oh no, it's Ganondorf. <laughs> but but see, I don't feel I, no, I was, it's Ganondorf. I, was, I think, oh, Link's gonna beat his ass again. Um, <laughs> I, I was halfway with that because I was okay with him losing, you know, the WrestleMania match. But I really thought he should have won the next one because, like, I I told this to you on the phone, and someone tweeted this at me that Randy Orton is only as good as his next feud. Where Bray, I think he has a really fleshed out angle that he can terrorize someone else. Like he mm-hmm. lost Randy and he can go terrorize someone else. But if he loses, then who, who the hell right. is he going to terrorize? That's, and that's yeah. what I was saying. He keeps losing. You can't have the new Undertaker, the creepy guy, uses magic. He's so scary and never let him win. Oh, yeah. I can't, like, I can't wait for that House work. of Horrors match. Yeah, though. the boogeyman doesn't lose. Like yeah. that's what that's it's he's my favorite. That's my favorite gimmick. Because I love serial killers, and he is just straight oh, okay. up. I do. I mean, you know, I find them fascinating. I'm not. I won't uh-huh. kill you. Probably, I probably. don't like blood. Uh, um, okay, just choke me first. It'll be fine. Cool. All right. Um, okay. All right. What's going um, on here, Randy? So, I'm that's choke my, you. <laughs> I like it. That's, <laughs> that's Randy Orton. <laughs> yeah, that was Randy. I like it. I, <laughs> Okay, Randy. That's, <laughs> that's how Randy actually talks. He's like, I don't know. I just kind of like it. Like, I don't have any that's teeth. But... <laughs> I think they just Randy's wanna... changed. Can we I let Rachel wanna... make her point? I think oh, I don't even know what it is. The belt. Oh, it's that they're they're wasting they're wasting probably the best gimmick that yes, they've had in absolutely. years. Like this cult leader, this serial killer, this like magic man this shaman they're wasting him yeah because they don't know what to do with him you can tell that he came up with that Mm -hmm. character and now it's in the hands of somebody else who doesn't understand where it's coming from and doesn't understand where to bring it do you think part of it is because we are in what's now like the new era the reality era where it's like you're real and so therefore they're like all these writers are like well, I, I would say, as opposed to the whole it, era I don't think stuff. it really counts in his case because he's a cult leader. Mm-hmm. Oh no, I hear it, you. You know, but, it's but such if an we're easy, talking about magic yeah, man, like not yeah. not him or me as a fan, but the writers are they no, sitting I, there going that's, like? Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. That's what made me so mad is because I did feel like that's what was the problem with Bray up until now. So when they did do the green screen thing, I was like, oh okay, so now we're we're back. Magic is real, mm-hmm. and I was okay with the loss. I was I was jazzed up. Like I said, Randy needs that belt so he can so he can get his next 
guy. Yeah. But then when he loses again, it's like you have to have that work. Like you only I, have a finite amount of time for that to work. I totally think that they missed the opportunity to introduce Sister Abigail. Yes. That would have been wow. the moment yep. at WrestleMania to you know, finally bring her on and then solidify him as a champion, yes. but also as the next Undertaker character. Absolutely. Yeah, and I agree. They mm-hmm. just did him wrong. They I'm trying didn't. so hard to get Bo Dallas in the Wyatt family. I'm, I'm Because they're he, actually related? Well, beyond that, beyond them actually being related, which would be a great revelation for people who didn't know, it's his character is so manic yeah. that imagine that in the Wyatt family. Yeah. He, I mean, he'd fit right in. He would be amazing. A, it would give a him something to do. A giggly manic Wyatt family member would be good. Right? Yeah. Yeah, there was just so many, such a mistake because... So if you're going to do magic, right, you're mm. going to show all these crazy projections. Um, you need a bigger reason to have one than that the RKO came, as always, out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Like, why not Randy be like, you forgot one thing, Bray. I don't have a mind. And then, like, you know, just like something to show that there was a reason on him. <laughs> that it didn't work on him. Well, let's, 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 but there was no storytelling to say why it didn't affect it. He just like was like, oh, shit, there's cockroach. Well, it's fine. Yeah, no, let's rewrite that. I'm thinking it's more like, you forgot, Bray. You're just one of many voices in my head. And they talk to me and they say, Kind of gives a whole speech. (laughs) (laughs) We're RKOing. It's a soliloquy in the middle of mania. (laughs) No, it's in the middle of the speech. It's in the the RKO comes in the middle middle of the speech. So it's out of nowhere. So it's out of nowhere. one of those Britney Spears microphones. (laughs) Yes. I love it. Well, it goes with the snake theme. You can hear them breathing throughout the match. Snake. (laughs) (laughs) For you. No, you can actually, hear them calling spots in the corner. So I know yeah. you guys are being sucks. funny, but actually, there were uh, there were clearly mics in the ring posts. It oh, was yeah. pretty easy to hear. Yeah. So they very, really could have done oh, this, especially during the Undertaker Reigns match. Oh you yeah. Like, <laughs> did you hear Taker say "Do the spear" or something? No. Oh, uh, yeah, he wow. said uh, maybe it was su- no. He said Superman punch, like in the middle of something, because I think Roman was just staring at him, and then he just looked at him and was like Superman punch. <laughs> <laughs> like you forgot the spot, you goddamn unprofessional. You. Oh, now I gotta go back and rewatch that match. I'm too jazzed up on these human. They should have had robots. actually DDP come out and do the you know diamond cutter on just manual. yoga. Oh, oh yeah, the diamond cutter. That, that would have made amazing. more sense oh than the God. yoga. Uh, <laughs> I don't know who that ha- who that match helped. Well, Danny Fernandez is texting me 38 times about drinks, so uh, this is going well. Wow. The Universal Title <laughs> match. Drink, Did drink, I already drink. do that one? <laughs> Um, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, um, Goldberg versus Lesnar. That's right. Oh, oh my God, guys! If you were follow me, sorry, I didn't mean to cut everyone off. <laughs> no, no, no. Because I sure did. This got exciting. Because I, the first thing I tweeted as soon as the match came out, I was like, "Well, here comes this boring ad for Jimmy John's." And then halfway through the match, I was like, "Nope, I'm wrong." <laughs> This is fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and immediately turned. It, it was, was it was the perfect length for those two guys. Yes. You can tell that they're friends too, which I appreciated. Yeah. Because Brock was being gentle with him. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed that. Yeah. Yeah. It was very old school style yeah. match. Yeah. You know, where you don't stick Heavy to the handed. fancy things. Yeah, yeah. But you just do the things you're really good at. And Five yeah, minutes, short enjoyable. and sweet. Yeah. It was perfect. And you know what? I thought after all these years. I would it wouldn't do it, but damn, goddamn, I love Goldberg's intro. Just like that, like do 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 do, and he's just like sweaty old Master Roshi ripped up, yeah. coming out. I'm like, damn, I hope I look that good. That inch is almost like 20 minutes because he's like <laughs> in the right. back. When and I saw on the ramp, right, I was like, oh no, is he gonna go all the way down the ramp? Yeah. <laughs> but the pyro didn't reach him enough, so he couldn't do the smoke. Ah, smoke out of there. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> is that good? <sighs> Oh, yeah, I like to imagine that. he's going. Oh, yeah. oh, he's the famous Goldberg. Oh. He's like, I'm an angel. Oh, he I'm ain't no Shawn Michaels. I'm ripped like an angel. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I'm ripped like an <laughs> angel. <laughs> All angels are ripped. <laughs> somebody tweet that at me after this goes live so I don't forget it. All right, Taker versus Reigns. Oh, Here let's we take go. all this laughter and drain it back out of our faces. Oh, Gosh. man. I... It was rough. That yeah. was a rough. I mean, the match was rough. It was yeah. such a good mania. And then you... So Here's let... the thing. Go for it. Go for it. It's like... <laughs> I, it probably wouldn't be as bad if they didn't make it the last match, but of course they let, made it the last well, match because to. it was the retirement match. Mm-hmm. But and before, but before we knew this, me and Kyle were like, this wouldn't be that bad if it wasn't the last match. 
But the fact that it was the last, and to bonus the retirement, it really sucks. Well, it's also, it's also the thing, too, is like, so I was with some friends, and we're like, because at this point, like, days leading up, they didn't know which the last match was going to be. We should gonna really be, watch the shows together sometime. I know. Was it going to be Taker, or was it going to be Brock and Goldberg? Um, and so when we, throughout the day we're watching her, it's like, it's Taker, and we're like, there's, so those watching who don't know, usually retirement matches kind of get announced in a way. Yes. Ric Flair, Shawn Michaels, it's it'll, the, right, it'll this be is the part of the story. Match. They'll say something. They'll say, if you don't win this match, blah, blah, blah. Or they'll say, I'm going to send you back to blah, blah. You know, like there's a story mm-hmm. built reason why this match is happening and that they're going to bury you essentially. And, and you're, if whoever loses is leaving. Yes. And they're just having a property battle. This is my yeah. yard. It's right. my yard. <laughs> and it was only built <laughs> up. And it was only built up. Post Rumble, um, but not even built up because what was it? Was it literally Undertaker looked at Reigns the wrong? Like I don't get what their argument. Well, because was. you know Reigns came in and threw out the Undertaker, so he, you know, like like every Had it been ten like years earlier, every, Maven would have retired. Yeah, yeah, Taker. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like every feud just, happens from Raw. And Taker's uh, a right. SmackDown guy, but he ended up every week on Raw. Never yeah, went to SmackDown made. after that one. Yeah. It Never was, went back. It was so strange to me. And then. The well, so, so it's like, oh, it's the last match of the night. And then when Jim Ross came out, we all went, it's retirement. He's doing it. Jim it's Ross it, was so it. good. Can I say again that oh, Jim he, Ross is, great. he is like putting a warm, snuggly blanket yeah. around you? You're just like, oh, this man could talk about wrestling all day. I'm but so the happy. second he came out, we all went. This is it. It's a retirement match. <laughs> well, you know what else was weird to me? I do just want to touch one thing about Jim Ross was that uh, the other announced, I think it was Cole, was like, he's had a rough week or something like that. Just and I was just like, his wife? Yeah. Understatement of the century. Yeah. Y'all yeah. couldn't at least just say a little say a little thing yeah. about like, you know, and we were dedicating this match to Jan. Or, you know, like something. Something. And instead we're like, R- you've had a rough week, but we're at WrestleMania now. I was just like, fuck, shit. I, know. I, know. <laughs> I can just feel Jim Ross be like, that was yeah. weird. Um, I guess that's worth saying too is like, so Ross has signed a new contract for two years with the WWE mm-hmm. where he's going to do select dates, which I would imagine are like the big pay per views. Maybe the occasional mm-hmm. Raw for surprise purposes. And, uh, and you, and I don't know if you, some other side news is that he still is going to be commentating for New Japan too. Which uh, is killer. Yeah. Awesome. Which is so, so that's interesting. Um, so the match itself, I think they hurt themselves by not being able to say that it was Undertaker's retirement I match agree. because they wanted you to not know who was going to win. So that's why we couldn't know. Yeah. Um, but, you know, right after this WrestleMania, like I said, we went and we watched a bunch of other WrestleManias and we watched the match uh, with Shawn Michaels and Undertaker again. And just seeing the difference of 10 years in how Undertaker performs in the ring, it was real... You know, he. D- I think he put on the best match he was capable of putting on. Well, that's why a lot of people are saying maybe the retirement match wasn't known yeah. because Taker's getting a hip replacement surgery. Yeah. And maybe he didn't know this was going to be his last match until, like, leading up to it, he might have been like, I'm too hurt. But I think, <laughs> I but I think it's also that Roman is not good enough of a worker to make him look good. If AJ yeah. Styles was in the ring with him, it, w- it wouldn't have been sad, at least. Or even if it would have been what we thought it was going to be was John Cena leading up to this. Yeah. Year. We thought it was going to be Cena Yeah, Taker. that would have been good, too. I'm not, like, the biggest fan of John Cena, but he's a great worker. Yeah. The champ is here. He would have made some faces worth a honey. thousand memes oh, from honey. that. The champ. Oh, but God. Is here. Yeah. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> but, yeah, at one point I was That's just like... Orton. <laughs> it's Randy Orton like back it. again? Yeah, ew. John Cena. I was just really so my friend said he didn't get the the vibe of the match of Roman being like, Man, I don't want to have to keep hitting you, grandpa. Um, but I feel like he Roman did it with his face. I feel like his face showed when he was in the corner and he was looking like, Oh man, please don't get back up. The Can only I time I got that again? was when Reigns literally says like stay down or, or does something he? like and that. And then I think he point. said I'm sorry at one point too. Yeah. I think he like looked really- down at him and was like, I'm sorry, and I was like, Me too. You deserve <laughs> more than this, Undertaker. This is your retirement match and it's to put the, you know this is the third mania in the row in a row that Roman has been the main event. You think CM Punk just hears about that? Doesn't watch obviously, but hears about that and just like it gives me heartburn. <laughs> it's like it's the most tragic thing in the world that you are you're exploiting the best wrestler in the WWE. It should have the Undertaker. Been, been like Finn Balor should have got it that. Been that, that and then could have took his power or or yeah, it would have been a, a demon against the Phenom. Right, that yeah. would have been. Yeah. yeah. Match. You're supposed to retire to the person that you're putting over as your replacement. You're supposed to have similar gimmicks. You're supposed to like you're supposed to be congruent and the fact that they just squandered his retirement match with this bullshit oh my my 
buns are boiling. My it, word. Yeah, it was <laughs> it was just hard to watch. It felt because they, there was no story building up to it. It felt empty a yeah. little, and no one was shocked, but it still felt shocking mm-hmm. because of how sad it still was. And when he starts taking off his clothes, so yeah, match is over. Right. The five minutes post match where it's Taker alone in the ring. Him doing the yeah, he took off his off. gloves and his hat, his jacket. Uh, then he grabbed his belt to hitch up his pants, and I got real nervous. I know, but. I was like, take it all off, let's figure out what's going on under I, that. No, a, no, thank you. Yeah, as, like a, taker, I'm good. as an individual, yeah. as an individual <laughs> moment, that was a good moment. I will say, I died when K Fave News, for those of you who don't know, K Fave News is like the onion for wrestling, they put Chili Undertaker regrets taking off the <laughs> around four of the cold. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think about that. The poor guy. It oh was... <laughs> That's true. He was probably so cold. Well, you know, you burn a lot of fat when you exercise in the cold. But the big news was that he also sort of broke Kefe, which Taker's never done by kissing yeah. his Kiss, wife. Kissing yes. his wife. That, yeah. That's when the tears, her. like, pricked my eyes. I know. I was like, fuck, 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 don't cry. Fuck, fuck. Yeah, like, he left The Undertaker... In the ring, yeah. and then it became and Mark Calloway right. when he went to go greet his yeah. family and his wife. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. Wow. And they left his gear in the ring for at least two hours. Like it was yeah. the last part to yeah. be cleaned Packing up. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So thank you, Taker. Hashtag. But we also read that it's like a lot of people backstage of Austin and a couple of other people talk about like they did not know that this was it. Like a lot of people. So that's why I do wonder to some extent is that WWE being secretive and the McMahons being like, well, it'll be a surprise, like Brock beating him at 30. Or was this like not as last minute as the day of, but Taker being like, I don't think I can do it anymore. I think it's more likely a swerve by them. I do. Because uh, Taker's been having a bit of trouble moving anyway this whole time. Yes. So I don't yeah. think he wasn't aware. We've seen some interesting camera edits where the camera didn't go away in time where you see him yeah. grimacing in you pain. You see him grimace in yeah. pain. Yeah. In the <sighs> ring. It was hard to watch. It was. It's very hard for me to watch him wrestle now. Well, a man his size, he's not like Ric Flair, who's just you know, who, you know, who can still put together a decent match. I'm like Undertaker's almost seven feet tall, and, and right. the wear and tear on your body at that size and at that age is just. And he's he's done a lot w- more, I would say, than Ric Flair did as far oh, yeah, as yeah. the cage stuff and falling. Yeah, hell in the cell. <laughs> yeah, right. He's done a lot less uh, coke. <laughs> than, uh, That's what keeps you young. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Keep you young and tight. Uh, well, normally this is the part where we have Q&A, but we don't have Q&A today because this has just been posted up. But uh, <laughs> I was telling them to go fuck them. Oh, okay, <laughs> good, good. I, I don't know why. Are, I don't know why I would do Rachel that to the people who like watch you. this. I do. I'm sorry. Uh, and those any, watching, in case you're wondering why we weren't live, uh, if you weren't watching Hyper RPG this weekend, we had the Halo Foundation thing, so this this was going just straight to YouTube, but we will be back to our normal schedule uh, next week. So we are out of time, but I do want to touch briefly on Raw and SmackDown still. Do we think we could yeah, do it quickly? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, of course. let's go. There were a lot of new people who showed up. Oh, my God. Somebody take it away. Well, we had new people. Well, first I, first thing of Raw, I know, not new people, but I want to talk about the Roman segment, which was so yeah. good. I so was angry good. at myself for enjoying it as I much know. as oh, I did. So he really minutes, like he killed it. That he was did, exactly he what he needed he to great. do. We can shit all over Roman. He did great. Yeah. Like yeah. Just kind of consistently taking the just, mic there and back. He owned the crowd right there for oh. 15 minutes. He literally <laughs> said, you're in the palm of my hands at one point. He was like. It's my yard now. Dropping the mic. This is what <laughs> You're the worst. So for anyone who didn't watch it, what happened was the crowd chanted, thank you, Taker, I believe was the first chant yes. for about three minutes. It switched into, it didn't switch into fuck you, Roman, until later. I think it was just Roman Yeah, towards sucks. the end of it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then Roman Reigns came out and he didn't say anything. And every time he tried to talk, they booed him. And the chants went to like, fuck you, Roman. Up, and like, Roman. shut up. Like a lot of really like language. Like if I had my child there, I'd be like, Jesus, guys. People are here who are children. And I can't wait to touch on that again with the Vince McMahon thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> eventually he he does speak um, into the mic, and that's what he says. It's my yard now, and he walks away. And watching Dropped him trying it. not to smile the whole time was also pretty enjoyable. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Roman, Roman healed y'all up. You got yeah, played. Yeah, and they changed yeah. his gear to the red. With the yep. thing, and I was like, yeah. "Classic heel turn." Yeah, <laughs> he, it was, can't it was, grow a goatee. No. I mean, it was, it's it's something everyone wanted, but like the it was done so so great. Where it's like we're gonna wait till the last possible moment where you think we're yep. trying to push him, mm-hmm. and then it's like, all right, he's a heel now, uh. and now people are. Gonna do you think conflicted. there's still gonna be like he's a heel, or do you think oh this is just a raw that's after WrestleMania, and that's then the we're gonna go back to. That's my question, because he is supposedly the number one merch seller right now. They generally don't like you to be a heel when that happens, because your sales are not as strong if you're a heel. He's very popular with kids and women. 
they might not want him to be a heel. And with Cena kind of being phased out, mm-hmm. he's kind of stepping into that poster boy yeah. role. For Give the it to AJ. AJ. Be the face it <laughs> was, he, was he the champ that runs, runs the, the camp? camp? Yeah. Let him be it. Give it to AJ. Yeah. All um, right, so yeah, that was really intense. Vince ended up showing up. Vince showed up. The first chant was. He um, looks so old. Yeah, yeah. he's he did, real he, old man. He's aged pretty quick. He looks so well, he didn't old. rip his hamstrings off the bones, right? <laughs> like, that's the most recent oh, injury. Yeah, God. I think that's just probably. Apart, like, yeah, <laughs> literally just. <laughs> Turns out blah, 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 blah. sleeping only four hours a day and then working out a bunch. Not he was good doing when lug presses. Yeah, that's what it was. He was doing lug press. And that shit that just ripped right out. So, you know. I like that he came out and everybody was like, we don't like Roman. And he was like, okay. Like, I know. About it. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, uh, Stephanie McMahon. Was my daughter. You, how dare you cheer her for that? And I then, do yeah. like that. It was like the audience was like, "This is our shot. This is our one opportunity <laughs> yeah. for ha- to make you listen you to need me." To hear us. And then he was like, "Uh huh. I know." It was really, really funny. Keep buying them shirts. I really, I felt exactly what you said. Yeah. The crowd was like. Vince, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah. <laughs> I need to tell you. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if you've heard, but we don't like that guy. Um, yeah. So like, then you do like him yeah. in his head. So then they announced a new GM, and Teddy Long came out embarrassing us all with his uncle shit. Oh. God yeah. damn it, uncle, get back to the cookout <laughs> where you belong. <laughs> and then it was a trick. Kurt Angle came out like we all knew. Uh-huh. Woo! He looked so happy, and the crowd was just automatically, you suck. Oh, he was into it, too, because the same thing happened at the Hall of Fame. Right. And he was so into it. And what's what's, that's what the funny thing about Chance, just like with Cena, when Mm -hmm. we're like, John Cena sucks. We don't actually mean it, generally, when we're saying it. We're just, that's what you do. It's a sign of respect. (laughs) It's it's just what you do. And every time, except for Rachel. And every time (sighs) they said, you suck to Kurt, what they really meant was, I love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you felt that. You felt that. I feel like with John Cena, like, he is so polarizing because he's yes. so up. He's very good. Listen, he's very good. He's good on the mic. He's good in the ring. I understand. I'm supposed to like him. There's no reason why I shouldn't like him, but he's just so he like terrible. And I feel like if I met him, I'd be like, you're the worst. You know, right. I just feel like he's the worst. Whatever. Uh, he's, he's a nerd. But he's with, a dork. No, he's not. He's like a, you have to be, you have to like his way or the clean highway your toes kind of before you walk into my room. Like he's obnoxious. <laughs> no, he's, and, he's, he, he learned he's Mandarin. He's a military dad. He learned yeah. Mandarin. Right. He like has a bidet in every room. You know, he's that kind of guy. <laughs> oh, I like bidets. I do too. I mean, those are fun. When I was little, I thought it was a strange toilet and I shat in it. My mom had to clean it out. shat in your mom's bidet? We were in like the Caribbean visiting my father, and he thought it was hilarious. But she was so embarrassed. Like, I bring you to meet your father, and this is when you crap his bidet. <laughs> no, a- I remember using a bidet for the first time, and I did not shit in it. That's amazing. Okay, we can move on yeah. really quickly. <laughs> well, so, so we're, since we're on Kurt Angle, I want to talk yeah, about the Kurt segment. Angle, you could felt that you oh, felt yeah. the love, and the segment he did with Enzo and Cass was like legitimately funny. Mm-hmm. Like Angle knows how to do that stuff. So when he was like, that's not how you spell soft at the end. It's yeah. like those little Kurt Angleisms. Um, I really enjoyed that, like quite a bit. And he's showing so much positivity that you're absolutely certain at some point that pure evil is going to happen because of him. Well, he <laughs> looks like he's about to pop. It's like he's oh, yeah. like his. He sweated through his his suit, which was crazy. Yeah. How do you sweat through a suit? I that's don't the material. know. He had like the Ultimate Warrior thing going on. Remember the Ultimate Warrior after you know yeah. sorry, you know you know WrestleMania, he was just all red and about to explode. And I know he did look like he was about to imp- like just everything was going to pop out. Wrestle of him. Machine. He's very thick. <laughs> I thick didn't boy. like what he. I didn't like his what he said when he came out on Raw. I felt like he could have said a little bit more. Mm. What did he say? I don't remember what he said. He just said his thing. Whatever. They're like, rah, 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 I'm the thing. Oh, what? You, oh his thing, thing he says. Um, yes. His thing he's, come uh, on, guys. The three eyes? eyes? The three no, eyes. No, 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 no. no he no. said that like, for he, Sammy. No, he said, fuck, what did he say? Come on. It's, it's, oh, my God. I it's true. true. Come on. It's, it's damn, damn true. true. Thank you. That's what it was. It's true. Like, it's damn true. I'm like, what? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so yeah, as we s- revival, a great match was a new day. I thought that was a really good match. I actually, I thought that was a pretty hard hitting match. Uh, yeah, I felt like it made it made them both look strong. Yeah, I guess I felt maybe I let people pump them up too much for me. The revival. Like, yeah, everyone's like the revival, one of the greatest tag teams in the world. Well, I think because right they're classic. Yeah, in a way. They they're just so kind of so they're kind of like they're kind of like uh, the Road Warriors. Those guys who are going to beat the shit out of you. They're not going to do like amazing high flying spots. They're just going to do moves where you're like Jesus Christ. It's not flips. Yeah. Flex. yeah. And they are they are very stiff with their movement. They oh, are yeah. ve- like it looks like whatever they're doing is actually hurting you, which is a complaint I have a lot about that style of wrestling. Is that um, it th- when you do the flippy dippies, then there's a lot of room for error. Yeah. But when you're just that close contact wrestling, there's not a lot of re- like you. It's close up. You can see exactly what they're doing. And the revival has like mastered 
how to hurt somebody or look like they're hurting somebody without causing any injuries. They haven't caused any injuries. That's a big thing for me. Yeah, yeah I thought that looked good. The cruiserweight match, I thought looked really like. Cruiser, and I, oh, it was we gotta so, talk about it. Oh, it was what? It was amazing, and well, they the allowed them to do flippy busy, stuff because it was the mania crowd. <laughs> but the audience was too busy uh, being excited over a beach ball and beach ball chanting mania. about the beach ball yeah. and not watching the match. Mm. And it was really frustrating to see that the cruiserweights were putting on such an awesome show and half the people gone up to use the bathroom and the other half were yelling beach ball at these athletes risking life and limb doing these awesome spots for you. That's why I'm happy Neville didn't get y'all that red arrow. You don't deserve it. But it was an awesome spot, an awesome match. It was. It was a very good match. Um, and then we got the return of Finn Balor. <gasps> Finn Balor. The demon. Yeah. I got to see that. And that was a good little build up too, with like taking out Jericho. Hey, but it didn't make sense because he teamed up with the guy who took yes, him out. Yes, it, so it, it made very I know. little It's sense. one of those like mania moments yeah. things where you're just like, Wait, this is like as little whatever. sense as Luke Seth Gallows Rollins. teaming oh, yeah. up with uh, Seth Rollins. with what's his name oh, on oh. SmackDown later, but we'll get to that one. Yeah, sometimes things don't make sense. I'm wondering if they're going to turn Rollins heel again to continue the fight with Finn Balor because they didn't look super well, that's jazzed. Be interesting. Well, the Universal Champion is Brock, and Brock doesn't come on every week or do every pay per view. That's true. Yeah, that's the thing is that I kind of feel like everything is moot because it just feels like free for alls because there's that shakeup happening. So yeah. anything that we become potentially invested in is going to be taken away from us. So what's the point of feeling? Yeah, it was you like know? when the New Day and the Wyatts were actually dies. having the first good storyline and then just just well, it's ended. sort of like how mm. going to SmackDown, Shinsuke comes out, he interrupts the Miz, and I'm like, oh, are they going to set up a Miz feud? No, I'm just no. The Miz the just left. Back. The Miz is like, all right, I warmed up the ring for you. Uh, make sure you jiggle the yeah. handle. When you, uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> it was strange. So it's like they're not really setting things up. Like they're kind of just all cool off mat. Like even the Hardys beating um, the, the the club. It was just like okay, that happened. I feel like they could have. I feel like they could have opened SmackDown with Nakamura. I agree. Because oh, yeah. I thought it was the right move to have him not fight because he's so elusive and enigmatic, and I think that that almost has more allure. But they. Sh you're right. It's weird to have him in the middle of anything. Just open it up with him, and then he'll be like, toodles, see you later. Right. Um, Whatever. What else important happened? So, um, what's his name? Luke and Orton. Luke Harper looks good. Team I oh, yeah, love that Harper all they had to do yeah. was tie his hair in a little bun to hide that little hole in the back, it put him in a black uh, beater instead of the white one, and suddenly this man was looking spelled. No, he's, he's, he's lost, he's weight. lost a lot he's of lost weight. And he's weight. gotten big, huge muscles. I noticed I've never his, seen him look like I've that. I've actually been noticing his arm muscles over the weeks in his ugly clothes mm -hmm. because I keep going, I'm my body is confused. You look like a dirty hobo, but them arms. I know. Uh, and them it made arms. me feel certain ways. Well, he was also the, the uh, mass luchador in. I was wondering if that was him. In uh, South Paul. Yes. In that, in that skit. Yeah. That's so. funny. I was wondering if that's who that was. Um, but anyway, he teamed up with Orton. Which made absolutely yeah, no another, another sense. Yeah, another. Why does that not make sense? Because, because they're both they, expats. But they were but both it was or, fight, because, but they of, because, were, because of Orton of, that yeah. uh, Luke Harper got kicked out. They were out of the fighting way. with yeah. each other the whole time leading up to that. Well, maybe their hatred, their collective hatred is. Well, maybe that should have been a video. The enemy <laughs> of my enemy is my friend. <laughs> the enemy of yeah. my enemy is my friend. But yeah, they weren't. They weren't. Like, I guess I'm just not invested enough in it to care. I was just like, yeah, they both hate Bray. Sure, whatever. Well, then we also got the Ty Dillinger. Finally got moved up after 10, 10 years ten. in development. 10. 10. Uh, which I'm excited. I will also say I wonder how far he can go on SmackDown. Man, I would Kurt hope, I would hope. I would hope he could, I would <laughs> oh, hope he could go. But that, the thing about sometimes people moving up is you get those writer, the writers or McMahon or whoever, because now it's not just under uh, Hunter, where they're like, I don't know what to do this guy. Yeah, right, but, but I, I feel gosh, like he can like make anything. Oh, gosh. R.I.P. Um, I feel like... Yeah, what happened there? So nobody... Is saying exactly Seems what's like happening. Seems like it's heat from the Sin Cara fight in the back. Potentially, um, but what somebody posted something that was clearly untrue from anyone who's met Gotch, yeah. but that's getting circulated a lot, which is like, oh, he had a big head. He talk about himself this way and that way, and that people didn't like him. F uh, from interacting with the dude, I don't think that's true. Um, he said he's gonna talk to people. Oh, girl. Really? Oh, what? girl. He seemed like a normal nerd to me. He, yes, okay, maybe, sure. He, okay. <laughs> Uh, he did this thing where he would like, I know, right? He did, this is terrible and I'm sorry. I was like, why did it get warm over he here? He did this thing where he would, like I said something and he was like, well, actually, um, oh yeah, oh, yeah he's just a nerd. <laughs> but I, I like, every, I was just looking at him like, I don't care. He's that guy. And then, yeah, he's that guy. Yeah. He's, he's, I think, I never, that's that all I'm going to say but about it. Hey, but hey, I mean, we love getting a, the tea here. But being a know-it-all, 
is not usually enough to get you. It can yeah, get you. It can get you punched. Fired. In the, I don't know. Maybe I'm too from Texas, but that kind of attitude gets you punched in the face. Mm-hmm. You don't tell me what's up with my shoes. I was like, oh yeah, I got these heavy Docs on, and then he was like, actually, those are mm, off-brand Doc Martens. And I was like, honey, don't fight me on this. <laughs> but girl, for real, that's he played you. That's why you. he, they fired him. He was correcting <laughs> someone's the Docs. Thing is, the thing is, is that they were. He corrected not Vince's brand. off-brand shoes, and Vince was like. <laughs> They're not off-brand docs. They're just a subset of a kind of doc. Never mind. I got gotched. I got gotched. Whatever. He's fine. But he seems like, nice. Well, he's maybe just, because I was wearing all name brand, uh, he didn't come for me. Ooh. Well, I'm hearing. I'm hearing. Uh, it, sorry, we aren't all fancy like you. I'm just I'm kidding. Sorry. I don't own anything name brand in my whole life. My tights are from Hot Topic. <laughs> These are from China. That's why they don't fit that well. Were there some well. Matt Hardy Ooh, pants exotic. there when you got those tights? <laughs> what the you fuck is well. wrong with oh, you? Oh, these I are the shoes you. I was wearing. Oh, you know, right here. Boom. Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, see, there's a type of Doc Martin. I'm actually just looking at her at thighs. At my vagina? Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. We have no, well, I was, I was some like, people don't wear pants. I was like, thigh, thighs. I was looking at your thighs. Yeah, no, I know. I d- I'm not wearing much. <laughs> um, I got a did great any, view. Did anyone else debut on SmackDown? I think it was just Ty in the in Shinsuke. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's. I I, I thought DIY might have popped up, but I was wondering if you. Yeah. Did you no. see Ty's uh, self tanner on his hands? No. Oh, rewatch it. It's so <laughs> orange. I was like, put your hands. I know it's your thing, but you got to put your you hands. Gotta be like. Down. like tan. Yeah. Tan. Yeah. I had a I had a friend once that I worked tan. with who did self tanner, and the toilet was always tan. <laughs> Ooh. Like, what a- Ty Dillinger is the perfect I tan. Ty <laughs> doesn't end up as uh, t- you know Tyler Breeze because Tyler Breeze so much kind potential. of you know the same similar mold. They were right. you know they came out of NXT with some with some heat, heat yeah. and then they just flatlined. I I feel like sometimes I wish that NXT could be considered the equal to Raw and mm-hmm. SmackDown so that people could stay there or go back there without it being a bad thing. Like yeah, if the right. God villains didn't work on SmackDown, like I would rather they go back to NXT than to just disappear because oh it didn't work like yeah. I don't know yeah. that, I mean that kind of happened with Emma when you know obviously before oh she the came back Emelina, that's what yeah she went back with the whole uh, Emmeline and then that's where she, you know they paired her with, with uh, Dana oh we forgot to talk about that she came back on Raw and oh, I, yeah. I did enjoy that match I know like storyline it didn't make any sense but She's Emma looked fun. so strong in the ring yeah. she was yeah. yeah she was fun she yeah. was engaging I loved it um, it didn't it didn't make a lot of sense whenever mm. but it's fine but it was nice I who was it. she teamed with with Nia, Nia Jackson, and Charlotte. Charlotte okay uh, yeah. I did yeah, okay. also I do have to point out how good of a heel Charlotte is that she m- managed to make me accept Dana Brooke as a face because it didn't even yeah. seem weird to me I was like yeah no she's been treated really poorly great for her yeah uh, so we're, <laughs> that was our 10 symbol uh, do we have any homework for them this week maybe some Undertaker matches Oh man! Well, we've done we've done some Taker because true, we've we had have. a lot of Taker, which I love Taker. Do you guys but have any matches that taker. you like to recommend to people to watch? Well, anything Kenny Omega does. Mm-hmm. Je- I, yeah. If somebody's not into wrestling, I lead them to Kenny Omega first because he's to me the uh, apex of wrestling. Mm. Um, I know I'm obsessed with him. Um, so yeah, and that mullet. Yo, probably like the six star match. Okay. Why not? You don't like it? No, I don't have a problem. Oh my god, you were so quick. You were like her eyebrows. I twitched. got really nervous. <laughs> no, I was like, oh, Sarah, you, "Am I wrong?" No, you're Sarah not went wrong. hipster on you. Like I'm, that one. Right? No, I'm really I was doing impressionable. Like, I, I was making the like, "Oh yeah, good one face," and about to tell the camera, and you were like, "She's turned away from me. <laughs> she didn't. She's not making eye contact with me anymore. She she hates me." <laughs> shame, shame. All right, so go watch Kenny Omega Six Star. Do you have a, a different one or I would any say suggestions? pretty popular one is Austin versus Bret Hart, the double turn at WrestleMania 13, I believe, which mm. also sparked um, the Attitude Era. Just yeah. because it's great storytelling, it, you know, it launched Austin into superstardom, but it also turned Bret Hart, who was this longtime babyface, into, you know, a yeah. heel. So A heel in, in America, which is the fascinating yeah. thing. In Canada, yeah. still a hero. all right guys thank you so much for watching uh let us know if you'd ever like us to do any like watch alongs or anything for the pay-per-views uh everybody say where they can find you real quick uh you can find me on twitter and instagram at jurassic alien and here on hyper rpg uh obviously go to the youtube section doing a lot of stuff with the movie guys um and also on mondays indomitable it's a hero click show uh so go check out that one Yo, yo, what's up? It's your boy. You can catch me at uh, If He's Not Funny on Twitter, That Black Nerd on uh, Instagram, and If D's on everywhere, Reddit, Steam, Pornhub, you name it. 
You can find me everywhere in the world. Sarah the Rebel. Sarah's an H is God in the Bible intended. You can find me on Women Wrestling Friends Podcast on my YouTube channel. And you can go to my Patreon and donate a dollar so I can get here every Saturday because Uber is really expensive. That's nice. Uh, you can find me. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Rachel Sam Evans or Rachel Sam Vans, depends on how your brain works. Also, subscribe to Snarled on YouTube. That's my YouTube channel: S N A R L E D Snarled. Thank Snarled. You. <laughs> Thank you. I am on Twitter and Instagram as Solomon Dojo, and you can check out my blog, which is junkyarddemento.com, and. Head to MySpace. And also MySpace every Wednesday to check out my articles. Wow. Which are kind of out there. So Awesome. Perfect. All right, guys. Bye. Later, later. <laughs>